Let me ask you a question. Are you constantly interrupted at work and don't know what to do? Yes, then keep watching this video. Hey, this is Rajiv Kumar Love, the Life Skills Coach, welcoming you to this video. Through my videos, I want to inspire you to improve your life and achieve your goals. In this video, I give you some ideas on how to prevent interruptions at work. Here we go. Number one, hide away. If you have walk-in visitors, you can hide in a conference room. You could close your door. You could put up a sign, do not disturb. Don't have an open door policy. Inform your co-workers or subordinates that you generally like to come at 8 a.m. and work on your own till 9.30 a.m. Only after that you accept meetings. Number two, take the help of an assistant. If you have an assistant, give him clear instructions so as to what kind of interruptions are okay so they can screen the visitors. The assistant should be empowered to schedule a meeting or divert the inquiry to someone else. Number three, rearrange your furniture. Change the layout of your furniture so that you are not facing traffic. Otherwise, you encourage interruptions. Number four, stand up. When someone walks in your office or cubicle, immediately stand up. That way, your visitor is less likely to sit down and get comfortable. When you stand up, you are giving a message to the other person that he better finish what he has to say quickly and leave. Standing up could also mean you have to go somewhere. Number five. Ask for help. When colleagues who don't have much work come to your station and interrupt you, what do you do in such a situation? Very simple. Tell the colleague, look, I have this very important job to do. If you help me, we can finish it in no time and then we can peacefully chat. I promise you, this colleague will never bother you again or interrupt you again. Try it. It works. Number six, have some rules. You could ask subordinates to come with important issues at an appointed time. When someone comes, set a time limit. When the person exceeds the limit, let them know. Number seven, be disciplined. Refrain from checking and responding to personal email at work, taking long personal calls and surfing the web. If you are that concerned about your personal email, you should check it before you leave for work and when you return home. Number eight, set up a time of various times throughout the day when you will be open to interruptions if possible. You can establish time frames when your peers can drop by. If you make this a rule and stick by it, your peers will come to know when it is a good time to bother you. Be careful that your tactics aren't counterproductive to the organization. So I hope you found the video useful. Yes, then please share it, like it, comment on it and most important, subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep getting more cool videos like this. So thanks for watching this video. This is Rajiv Kumar Love, your friend, your personal coach and guide. I'll be back with yet another video because I love making videos for you. So see you again in my next video. Until then, take care.